Kelsey with the Kansas City Gardener. Both spring and fall are great times to plant shrubs, trees, and perennials in the Kansas City area because moderate temperatures are a lot less stressful on newly planted landscaping than our summer weather. Today, I'm planting two yew shrubs to match and lengthen this existing hedge in front of the house. When it comes to planting shrubs, there are a few simple steps I take to ensure success. These steps are also helpful if you're planting a small tree or even a large perennial. Before starting our project, it's important to either submit an online ticket or call 811-DIG in Kansas or Missouri at least two to three days before beginning a big landscaping project, especially when you'll be digging deep holes. They'll come out for free and mark any underground utility lines in the area so you can dig safely. This is such a critical step because if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have known that there's a buried gas line about four feet away from where I'm digging, so I need to be especially careful. The first step of planting a new shrub is to rake aside any mulch in the area and dig a hole that's the same depth as the nursery container and about twice as wide. After you've dug your hole, it's always a good idea to add in some starter fertilizer. This will help get your plants off to a great start and decrease transplant shock. Next, take the shrub out of the container and gently trim or rough up the roots if they're circling around the bottom. This is so they start to spread out and don't continue circling. Place it in the hole and make sure it's even with the ground level or even slightly higher. Most shrubs, especially evergreens, don't like water collecting in a pool around the main stem because it can cause rot. So placing the shrub just half an inch higher than surrounding ground level will let the water drain away from the trunk. Then, fill in around the roots with loose soil. We dug the hole twice the size of the root ball so that this loose soil we're using provides an easy way for the shrub's roots to expand and grow outward. Pack it in as you go so there are no large air pockets, which can harm or even kill the shrub's roots. Water it in really well to settle the soil. It's especially important the first year after planting a shrub to never let the soil completely dry out. In the Kansas City area, that may mean deeply soaking the soil around the shrub two or even three times a week if we see summer temperatures above 90 degrees, scorching sun, and very little rain. I'll probably end up hooking this shrub up to an existing drip irrigation system, so I don't even have to worry about that. To give your new addition a finishing touch and to help with water retention, add a two to three inch layer of mulch. There you have it. Shrubs enhance curb appeal and provide both structure and weight in our landscapes. Now that you know these easy steps for planting successfully, get out in the garden and see where you could add a shrub or two. For more videos like this, be sure to like the Kansas City Gardener Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.